Hello and welcome to another TFHB React. Today we are looking closer at the World Cup and in particular the 2026 World Cup to be held very soon in Mexico, USA and Canada. Now in front of us is the full World Cup 2026 schedule. We're going to watch a video, find out how this 48 team World Cup is going to work. I have no idea. I don't know what's in store, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to work and where the game's going to be played. Not long away now, is it? Two years' time. And there's a qualification, I think, it's already started in some parts of the world. And it'll be starting in Europe, you know, relatively soon after the Nations League at the end of the year. Should we get started? Do it. Let's go. Ready for the greatest FIFA World Cup ever. 2026 is set to be the most exciting and inclusive FIFA World Cup of all time. Three host countries, 16 host cities. Cool, let's stop it there then. Right, we have 16 host cities, definitely mainly in the USA. Yes. Um, a few dotted about here, like see Vancouver and Toronto there, uh, and there's a few in Mexico as well, Monterey, Guadalajara, and Mexico City. Um, and then it's basically an American World Cup, isn't it? Which is yeah. just sprawled into the other two. But I know all three of them are going to be qualif um, qualified automatically as hosts. Any particular locations there you're interested in? Well, you're talking to me as a massive American sports fan. Yeah. Um, particularly American football. The yeah. Miami Dolphins are my, my team. Um, maybe we'll have a Super Bowl by then. Mm -hmm. Um but I know Miami Gardens, Hard Rock Stadium is hosting a couple of the games. They're hosting up till the third place playoff. Um, some incredible stadia. That is one thing to look forward to. Yeah. The other thing to note about a country the size of America with sports infrastructure the size of America is that the stadiums are built and ready to go. Which is a big difference yeah. to other World Cups where they have to invest a huge and amount of money building, them all building new stadia yeah. that then become white elephants and don't get used. Yeah, and um, the only problem I guess with this is that you know, some matches might be played in Vancouver, others in Miami, and that's a massive, massive lot of travel there for fans to do. Yes, although I presume, before we look any further, I presume they're grouping together games in certain locations. Yeah, but as, as the tournament goes on, certainly there will be a lot of travelling. I think um, it's a shame there's not more in Canada and Mexico um, to share it out more evenly, but I don't think it's surprising to see America take the chunk of them. No, let's carry on. 48 teams. Never before have so many nations competed. 48 teams. What do you think about that? Um, as someone who's quite resistant to change, <laughs> it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. What makes me fear is the quality of those games. Now, FIFA's argument, Gianni Infantino's argument, is that it is the World Cup. It is the game for everyone. 200-something uh, FIFA nations. Mm-hmm. 32 isn't exactly representative of all of, of those the nations, world, yeah. Um, with majority coming from Europe now, other people argue obviously the quality of those previous tournaments are enhanced by better teams being there, yeah. Those 48, the expansion from 32 to 48, are mainly of confederations that don't necessarily go deep into tournaments, usually. No, because obviously, if it was you know a uh, twice as many European teams, you might think, oh, you know, the quality will still be pretty high. But yeah, there, there's going to be a few sides qualifying that maybe you wouldn't usually see. I mean, you watched the Asian Cup recently. I think Jordan made the final. Um, so it's very likely that Jordan will qualify for the World Cup. But, yeah, I, you yeah. know, if they come up against Brazil, you know, how are they going to get on? Or if Jordan, for example, I don't want to be harsh on Jordan right now, but um, let's say that... Um, Let's say that Jordan, for example, comes up against Cape Verde. Who did brilliantly in AFCON. Like, exactly. But is that going to be a great game? I mean, I'll still watch it. But is that going to be a great game? Or is it going to be yeah. pretty low on quality and attracting a stadium that's only half full? I don't know. Yeah. And, and, and I hope not. And it's absolutely not wanting them to be excluded from the World Cup. I think the, the, con the concept of adding more nations... Mm. Um, trying to even it up from where confederations produce them, probably in the long term, will have a positive influence. And that's, that's I guess, what the hope is. And this is what the hope is. Shall we see which confederations are going to have which teams out? Yeah, go on. Let's go. In world football, for the initial group stage, teams will compete that's in good. 12 that's groups four. This is four teams, it from three. with the yeah. top two in each group, plus the eight best third place Similar teams to progressing. For the first time, the round of 32 will be in... 
Go on then. I think that's important that they've they've kept it this way. Yeah. It was going to be three groups or mm-hmm. three teams per group and a lot more groups. They've shifted it to bring through 32 teams um, from four team groups. That was a response to the 2022 World Cup. Yeah, the success of that last and round. And the success of that last round of group games. We may get more dead rubbers in this. Chances are we do. But I think that's important. Um, not many go out. Obviously, 16 teams leave. Well, I don't think it will be dead rubbers because potentially three teams can qualify from the group. Yes. Yeah, they, but I suppose it puts less on certain games. Oh, okay, top yeah. two. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Whereas enough. top two, it yeah. means that there's going to be some games where um, th- one of the famous ones is the disgrace of Gihon, isn't it? Oh, um, right, yeah. Previously between uh, West Germany and Austria where they passed it around for whatever it was, 45 minutes. Or you'll get a Portugal drawing all three games and then going on to win the whole tournament. Yeah, exactly, which um, we've seen at the Euros and obviously yeah. you know was, was important f- for Wales, the expansion of it uh, in the Euros, and we've seen that it's had a positive impact. The argument there was the quality decreased. I think that's going to happen here in- inevitably. Um, but I think we've got to embrace it rather than just go, I don't want to, I hate this. Yeah, I see how it's it goes. embrace it. Deuce, which is sure to dial up the knockout stage drama in 2026. Three group stage and five knockout matches. Eight games will stand between one nation in football history. An unprecedented 104 matches Whoa, how across many matches three countries. 104 matches. Hun- wow, so 64 matches at the moment, isn't it, the World Cup? Yeah. So this is an extra Near 40 nearly matches. Nearly doubling. Nearly doubling, yeah. Um, that's insane. Yeah. But, I mean, for me, I'm thinking, brilliant, I get to watch more football. I don't know what my family will think, but... Um, I, and I think that's the problem in some ways. I don't think you're not going to be able to. We've talked about in previous um, videos, certainly 2014, trying to watch every game. And I think I managed 62, 64. Mm. Um, but that was an immense commitment. And I was in my last year of university. And you I had, had, a you huge had the time. time. I had finished. I do not have the time. And no one will have the time. And neither will they with time differences and things like that too. So I think there will be a lot of games that you catch up on. Tell you what though, our kids will be four. They might be into it a bit by then. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I think, you know, it's going to be brilliant and and America get into stuff. If we're talking about the right place to start off this. Well, yeah, 94 World Cup. They they embraced it massively, didn't they? America embrace it. Soccer is huge in America now. Sport is huge in America. Um, You watch the Super Bowl, as I did recently, and um, they still reference soccer and things like that there. You know, they do Mm. embrace it. And it's a... Absolute myth that America don't embrace football. They they do, they do, yeah. and they will. They a hundred percent will when this happens, like they've done with Formula One and things like that recently. So I think, yeah, our, any place to have one hundred and four matches. I just think we've got to be realistic. I'm not going to be able to watch one hundred and four games. No, no chance. Sound complex, but FIFA has developed a schedule which places players and fans first by geographic. Just just very quickly, that's very interesting. What I said there, FIFA has put players and fans first. Okay. Yeah. Specifically <laughs> grouping the host cities. Oh, here we go. So they're all, they are all grouping all the matches. They make shorter journeys and should not have to travel coast to coast. A principle of three days but between matches. What if allow- a team? What if you get to the I don't know the final? It's miles away from where your first games were. Yeah, possibly. But then later I guess on. you make the final, so you'll be happy. With yeah, it. later on, and and they will be taking place in big. Near, you know, New York, New Jersey, near New York, yes, Miami, right. places where you can travel fairly Easily. comfortably as well, yeah. Allows players to recover, whilst the fans can attend games in multiple cities, leaving the FIFA There's World Cup so experience many fans. to the full. Yes. History will be made on the 11th of June, when the That's iconic June. Estadio Azteca in Mexico City. Oh, look at that. Bit of football history there. The opening game of the World Cup being held at the Azteca Stadium. Well, wow. I mean, there's not many teams in football, World Cup history at least, that are as influential and as iconic as the Azteca. You think of the 1970 World Cup final. Yep. You think of the uh, 1970 semi final, the game of the century, Italy, West Germany, the hand of God. <laughs> Um, you know, Maradona winning the World Cup all happened here. And it's a beautiful stadium. Yeah. It's so iconic. It's massive. It? It's such a beautiful stadium. Um, and. The expansion of the World Cup means we're going to have to have more than one country hosting it, um, yeah. almost for certain, just to have the infrastructure there. I think getting in with Mexico... Let's and hope it's a really it's good match, a good fixture, that yes. opening match would be yeah. brilliant. Picks off the tournament, becoming the first stadium to host 
three FIFA World Cup First opening matches. Three World Cups. A day later, the eyes of the world shift north. As on the 12th of June, Canada hosts its first ever men's FIFA World Cup match in Toronto. The men and the USA the gets the ball rolling in LA with the first FIFA World Cup match on home soil since 1994. Yeah, the three hosts will play all their group. That stadium is incredible. If they if they play a really? game at that LA stadium, which I presume is the Chargers and the Rams home ground, it mm. is it is unbelievable. So I think what he's saying there is Mexico start on the eleventh, then both Canada and the USA play their first game yeah. on the twelfth, which is gonna be I mean, those stadiums are gonna be amazing, aren't they? And yeah. full. Yeah. Matches on home turf. Get ready for FIFA World Cup like no other. We'll start with 48 teams, but by Tuesday, 14th of July, only four. Will 14th of July. That's not a. That's so they're still keeping it to a month, basically. Yeah, just over a month. So they're playing a third of the Premier League season. <laughs> a third of the Premier League season Jeepers. in the course of a month. So some days oh there will gosh. be some days with uh, you know probably six or seven games on. Ah. Oh. I'm, well, I mean, I've got to try and get out to this World Cup. I mean, USA is is definitely easy yeah. enough to get to. Yeah. And for me, again, being a bit of an America file in terms of how much I love American sport and American stadia and America the country, I think I want to be there. Uh, this is the biggest, the, for me, the World Cup that I want to go to the most. Watching Wales lift the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Man. Dallas will be the backdrop to the first semi final before Atlanta provides the stage oh, for the saying, second. Isn't it? Atlanta, well. On Sunday, 19th of July, 2026, oh, the man. focus will be on New York, New Jersey, with one nation who turn their dream into reality. As winners of FIFA World Cup, famous moments there. The biggest oh, sporting event in history. The countdown is on. We are 26. Tell you what, I'm quite excited now. I know, I know. We bring we, it we on, did 48 this. teams. We talked about this video in terms of almost a critical of, of being critical of the yeah. setup. I, I'm buzzing for it, and I'm buzzing for it because it's a World Cup, and you, you get buzzing for it, and that's what happens. And there's interesting, there's going to be a couple of things that have to change about some of the, the pitches in, in these countries, because um, certainly in America, they, they play a lot turf, of turf, yeah. um, which where the final is going to be at MetLife Stadium um, has famously injured Aaron Rodgers this season. Massive trade, moved to New York, from Green Bay, played four snaps, four plays, um, less than a minute of game time, and Torres Achilles on that turf. Mm. Um, Miami Dolphins have one of their players go down on the turf this season, so they're going to relay it all and, and put it as, as grass. Um, Makes sense. So there, there's going to be big changes to the way that America play things. Um, I'm buzzing for it. I think we do have to acknowledge that the, the size of the football calendar is just getting an unbelievable level of... Um, unsusta unsustainability I'm sure Always. in you know for 30 years time it'll be a, a 200 team World Cup and it'll just be a massive yeah. thing knockout from the start maybe? it'll be <laughs> yeah but it'll be a big big tournament yeah. and it'll be played around the whole world probably wouldn't it it'll be a literal World Cup but there we go right I really enjoy watching that yeah, um, yeah. it's giving a good insight into how this is all going to work a bit different for us to this kind of video but yeah. enjoy doing it so if you want us to react to anything else to do with football or football history please let us know. Um, please like and subscribe. We'd love to have more of you on board. Um, comment below and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.